Hi guys, Mirko in gear and today I will show you how to make your own exploit and this is gonna be a step by step tutorial so I will try to be clear as possible please note that this is just a beta I will be using the Celery API this one and basically this API will auto update and when the API will get better and the Celery executor will get better your exploit will also be better so for now, at least for me, only the printing works, but in some weeks, this is gonna get better. So that's why I'm showing you how to use this, because in some weeks, you can finally make your own free exploit again, thanks to this. So thanks to the Celery developers. And the first step is to download, if you don't, if you don't have it, you have to download the Visual Studio 2022. You will find a link for it on my site. And you just have to go and download Community 2022. And this setup will appear. I have already downloaded it, so it's here. And you just have to run this file. You have to press yes. This is basically what you will be using to create the exploit. Then in the installation, uh, you will see a bunch of stuff that you can install. Sorry if this is in Italian, but what you have to install is this one with the .NET, this one. So you select it and then you download it. And after it's downloaded, you have to open the Visual Studio Community 2022. So you just press start. Or you can just go here and search for it after it's installed and you will find it. It's Visual Studio 2022. Now that it's opened, go and create a new project and search for the Windows Forms app. Select the one with the C icon and with the net framework. So if you get this wrong, probably the exploit will not be an exe but a DLL. So make sure you select the right thing, which is this one, Windows Forms App .NET Framework. Double click and here you can call it whatever you want. For example, exploit test. And now you can press create. Okay, so here we are now. This, is, this will be the window of our application. I will not go into making an UI. I will just make it simple just to show you that it works. But if you want, I can show you how to make a good UI. If nothing is on the left here, just come view and then toolbox and this will appear. Now search for rich text box. This is, this will be where you're gonna execute your, ex your scripts. Yeah, you can make it bigger like you want and I'm gonna keep it simple like this. Then you have to add the buttons. So again, open the toolbox and search for a button. And I'm gonna add two buttons, so one here then I'm gonna paste it by doing Ctrl plus C on my keyboard and then Ctrl plus V. But you can just use the toolbox again and drag it and drag another button. One button will be the inject button and the other button will be the execute button. Now you can rename them. Uh, to rename them, just go here on the bottom right and on text, you can change the text. So execute and then here inject. Now I click in the empty space of the UI and go on view code. Now that you are here, you have to go on, you have to go on the solution explorer, right -click, right click on references, add the reference, and then you have to select the Celery API that you will find on my site. So make sure you download it from my site. Basically you go on my site, you press the how to, do, how to make your own exploit. I didn't make the post yet, but this will basically look the same. And you can select the option one, which will have no ads, and the option two, which has a loot links, in case the first option does not work. After you go to the Celery API, you have to navigate to the folder where you downloaded it. In this case, I have it on my desktop, for example. So I'm gonna select the Celery API.dll, and I'm gonna press the check mark. And press OK. Now you can go ahead and code our exploit. So you have to add the reference first. So using Celery API. And now you can close this and you have to go back to the buttons and click both buttons. So execute. Then you go back here, inject. And now we have the code of the two buttons. Uh, under the button one, which is the execute, you have to type this. So just copy my steps. Celery API dot by from player execute and then reach text box one dot text and then we close it. Make sure you copy this exactly as I wrote it. Do not miss even a dot. What this doing is basically telling that it has to execute by using the text that's in the, the reach text box. 
So when you press this, it's gonna execute the text in it. So basically the script. And now in the second one, uh, it's the inject button. So you have to type again, celery API dot buy from player, but this time inject, and then you close it like this. And that's pretty much it. Now it should be able to work. Let's test it. Um, just go and build, build solution. Okay. And now to find your exploit, just navigate to the path over there. So you open your explorer and you go like this. And as you can see, we have the exploit test.exe. I'm gonna open it and here it is. Now I'm gonna show you that this works. At least the printing works, but as I said before, it will support load string and it's gonna get better and better. So now you just have to go on Roblox web version, go on any game because this works on any game. And you have to inject inside the game this time, so not outside the game, it's like a normal exploit. So press the inject button, this will appear, press yes. As you can see it's scanning and now when it if when it says that it's ready you are good to go if it says some error just close roblox and your exploit and the cmd and then try again and do not close the cmd if it says ready because otherwise it will stop working so i'm just gonna minimize it now let's test a simple print hello execute and yes, working as you're seeing. And print identity, print identity. It says that it's a level 3, even though some scripts are not working. And guys, this is pretty much it. I hope you liked this tutorial. And don't worry, this is gonna get better. And thanks again to the Celery developers. From recording, that's pretty much it, guys. If you need help, you can join my Discord server. And all the server boosters will be credited at the end of the video. And that's pretty much it, see you in the next one. Find the best Roblox cheats on kingexploits.com. My brand new site has no ads and has only direct links to all the exploits, scripts and tools that I will showcase. You can either search the hack by using the search bar or by just scrolling through the latest hacks uploaded. You can also send me your exploit or script if you want it to be showcased and added to my site. So guys, from now on, when you need an exploit, you know which site to use. And if you like it, feel free to add it to your bookmarks.